This is a portrait of James Baldwin in his coffin. Uh, his brother, David, and I were good friends, and that's how I met Jimmy. And when he was sick with cancer, I would go over and babysit, cook for him. And uh, when everybody else would go out to the column the or I would stay with him, or somebody would stay with, with Jimmy and, and babysit. And so one night I went over and cooked in some collard greens. He was from the Bronx and loved Southern food. And uh, grits, I made him some grits too. And uh, when he left, when they left, I sat down and was massaging his feet and his hands because that, he could feel that and it really felt good. So after everybody comes back from dinner, I leave and David said, thank you so much for babysitting. I said, it's a pleasure. And the phone rings at about three o'clock in the morning. And it was David, he said, Jimmy just died and would you come over and photograph him? Because we've got Time, Newsweek, all the major magazines are out in the yard because they were expecting, we were expecting Jimmy not to pass the night. And uh, they're all at, but I'd like for you to come and photograph him as you was his friend. And I remember something that he said. This is from a black man that was never really popular in the United States. He had to go to England and then to the south of France to be recognized as a great writer, American writer. And we were sitting at his house one day and there was this Italian countess that was there and she was telling about her mother who was riding in a convertible with uh, Mussolini and how she was so ashamed that her mother would do that. And Jimmy said, why would you be ashamed of something that your mother did that she was raised to do? This was what a young royal an Italian royal was supposed to do. They felt, they lived their lives. And uh, it's just the same as being born in Alabama. You're raised a racist by the mere fact of where you are. I mean, I remember the Trotman a photograph that Corley Chapman had of the Trotman mule and slave barn here in Troy, Alabama. And I think, well, those are my roots, part of my roots. And we have to live with the past to improve the future.